I went to see German black metal band Kanon in Fever Live, and let me tell you guys, it was an amazing experience. <laughs> my second time seeing Canon and Fieber. I saw them two or three years ago in the tiny little club. Back then I was blown away by the performance, but I just couldn't put my finger on what made it so special. So when I got the chance to see them again, I just couldn't resist. And guys, I think I cracked it. I found the secret sauce. So in this video, I'm going to tell you about this concert. What is the secret sauce that makes Canon and Fieber so special? And how far can this band go? So I see over a hundred live bands per year, small bands, big bands, different genres, everything, but Canon and Fieber is one of the bands that I've been most excited about since I discovered them. But I was also skeptic because this venue is notorious for poor sound quality and unfortunately this promoter rarely ever managed to fill up the space. So of course I was worried that these things would kind of damage the performance of a band that showed me two years ago that they were great. So the venue was actually quite packed, which was a pleasant surprise, but there was a 10 minute delay on the starting, some technical issue, and I thought, okay, this is not gonna happen, because I could see that the mixer guy was really struggling. But then the lights dim, and Canon and Fieber hit the lights with a blast. <laughs> There was no need for doubts, it was on from the first second, even the sound was great. Now this band is just a different animal and it was during this concert, it kind of dawned on me what actually it is that makes it so special. Obviously they've mastered the art of drama, mixing their World War I themes into every aspect of the show. It's not just the outfits, but also kind of between the songs and in the intro to the songs, they're playing these old political speeches from the time. So. It adds this kind of theatrical effect and this eerie feeling somehow. And the, the lyrics, they're even based on letters from soldiers in the front line, from the trenches. So you kind of feel like you're stepping into a time machine, you're getting back there to World War I. And the fact that they sing in German just amplifies that feeling even more. I mean, a, a language that says pen as Kugelschreiber, I mean, that can only amplify somehow the, the darkness and the, the mood. But all this stuff is easy, let's say. I mean, bands can have themes, costumes, lights, shows, cool lyrics, cool language. But when I was standing on the fringes of the Mosbit, it just came to me what it is that makes this so different. When I watched the crowd, I realized they were not just listening, they were living the music. And then it hit me, they're all singing along. These songs have choruses, like big kick-ass sing-along choruses, and that's super, super rare in the genre. This sets Canon and Fieber apart from other bands. Their live shows are super engaging. When I was watching the crowd singing there from the Mosbit with those choruses, it's just pure fucking magic. If you like this video, now would be the perfect time to hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this. I also do album reviews, new bands, and interviews. Canon and Fieber has quickly become one of the fastest growing black metal bands out there. Just check their social media and you will see that. Now, in just a few years, they went from selling tiny, tiny clubs to larger venues throughout Europe. I mean, it's cool that they have this World War I theme and all that stuff, but it's a sing-along. That's what makes the big difference for me. This wasn't just a concert. This felt like a communal experience, some sort of a ritual or something like that. And I think that with this formula, this band can actually break new territory for black metal, you know, bring in people that are on the fringes, you know, be the gateway drug to get new fans into black metal that usually wouldn't listen to this type of music. Now let me know in the comments if you know this band, if you've seen them live or if you're gonna see them live. And then I actually went to see In Flames, the melodic death metal band the other day, and I made some pretty interesting observations there. So go and check that video out.